How's it going guys? We're going to do a quick overview of uh, my latest pressure washer and then we're going to go ahead and do a foam test on how well it uh, produces foam because I tend to get, or I was getting that question a lot with my other pressure washer, but this is the AR uh, Blue 630 TSS Hot and there's different models of this. There's a 610, 620 and then the 630 and then there's um, the 630 hot and 630 cold and it, same thing but with TSS and the TSS model is the total stop system so that's when you uh, release the trigger the unit stops uh, you pull the trigger it turns on all the other ones that are on the market that AR Blue makes in the 600 series don't have that capability unless it physically states TSS um, if it says 630 cold or whatever and it doesn't have that TSS it, it's gonna run continuously as long as you have that switch on here um, whether you pull the trigger or not it's gonna keep running and I didn't want that so I paid a little more for this and um, this is a really nice unit I'm pretty impressed it's it's extremely heavy it's I think 60 to 70 pounds this little thing you, you'd be surprised I was I was a little shocked when I when I picked it up but this is a um, uh, the pressure to regulate the pressure I think it, the minimum goes to like it states 1500 psi and then the max which is full capacity is 1900 psi and it is pushing 2.1 gallons at that 1900 psi um, after doing all my research and talking to AR and everybody this is a good alternative to the ones who are thinking about getting a Krenzel I was I couldn't justify the twelve $1200 it was that they wanted for it it just it, it didn't make sense for me after crunching the numbers and seeing what I got. This is this works just as good, if not better, uh, for my application, and I think it's a great alternative. Um, you can pick this up around seven, eight hundred bucks or something like that. But um, I'll leave links down below on everything. But I'll just wanted to do an overview. This is your oil dipstick. This is how you check the oil um, when you need to. And then this is the back of the unit, and then you have your oil fill level, level indicator. And then this is for your soap, uh, to siphon the soap or whatever. And then it's, um, like I said, a 630H hot model. It's, uh, this is imported. I ended up being on back order. I had ordered it, and it was on back order for a month or so before I actually received it. So uh, the maximum um, mount, as far as the temperature of the water, is 180 degrees. You can run hot water through this. So I'll give you another little overview. I went ahead and uh, put some quick disconnects or quick connects on the on the whole unit um, to make it easier to to plug in and out. And then you got this big, huge uh, extension cord, which I think is 25 foot. Um, I could be wrong. It's it's pretty long, so I just put it on this until I can find a better solution. And it is heavy, so it's kind of a bear to move. Um, they do sell a cart for this, but I'm, I'm not going to get it. I don't have much space, and this is perfect for, for what I need. And then it also came with um, a 25-foot hose here. And I believe this is 5 sixteenths or something. Um, let's see here. I can't see. I'll uh, have to probably update it in the, in the video here. One second, guys. Yes, it is 516. Sorry, it took so long. This is a really nice hose. It's, I mean, it's perfect, I think, for this application. And then I, am, I went ahead and put quick connects on this as well. And then this is the wand and gun that came with it. And this is, has the adjust, you just, you can adjust it, uh, your stream to you know the dirt nozzle you know that just thin pencil stream to the wide fan and I also even though I don't use this I went ahead and put quick disconnects or quick connects as well throughout the whole thing to make it easier to if I do go to use it or whatever but this is what I opted instead this is a Briggs it's a 3 8 uh, 50 foot I needed something a little longer so I went with this and then I had ordered this setup here this is um the one that a, a popular YouTuber in this category had uh, put together. Let me go on the shade here. And I couldn't justify his price, you know, especially, yeah, I like to support uh, individuals who do the research and all, but at what he was asking was shipping. It was just, it didn't make sense. So I went ahead and just built it myself. 
it's I, I did some research and I found all the exact parts that he used and I ordered it and this was on back order as well and this this is imported as well but I finally got it in about a week ago or so um, that and so I didn't have anything so I went ahead and just picked up this uh, MTM SG35 as well and then I put a Mosmatic swivel I I like this gun but I don't like the the length of this here it makes it really long because of the swivel and then you got the quick disconnect here so it kind of it makes the hose moving around a little bit more difficult but all right I, that was showing you that and then what we're going to be using for the foam test is we got this um uh, chemical guys citrus washing gloss this isn't bad I, I i like it i don't know if it's worth the cost i've ordered a few other ones just to test them out and then we're using an mtm foam cannon i i got this one over the cheaper ones because i bought the cheaper one didn't work too well and then um costco actually sells this i bought it through costco and it sold all the fittings and and then the the repair kit and everything and then they had it on sale so I opted to go through Costco because if it gives me issues next season, you know, Costco's return's awesome. So let me go ahead and get this all set up and then we'll go ahead and foam the car and see, see what kind of foam we can get out of it. All right, guys, bear with me. I'm trying to do foam the car and, <laughs> and film at the same time. So that, like I said, this is a Mosmatic with the integrated swivel built in and then MTM with the citrus, citrus, uh, washing gloss chemical guys but here we go i don't know about you guys but that's some pretty thick shaving cream foam up here let me set this down but you can see how much foam we got and it's still sticking to the car so I hope that uh, answers any future questions that you guys have so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here and I'm gonna go ahead and wash my car so if you guys have any questions comments uh, you want to see something else Go ahead and leave them down below. All right, thanks guys.